Ranging from Canada to the Mexican border, Charger. the ferocious storm system unleashing winds of up to 100 miles an hour on par with a Cat 2 hurricane. In Texas, gusts tearing apart mobile homes in Dallas, knocking semi trucks over onto their side and flipping small. Good morning, Shauna. Good morning to you. Welcome to another breakfast live. Good morning. Today's breakfast live will be live. Today we're in experimental mode, guys. So you <laughs> have to stick and stay to see how this one turned out. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning. Yeah, it's a wonderful day, and we are loving the weather in SoFlo. The SoFlo weather is. Can you guys is... see the sun? The sun is actually beaming in from outside on us. The sun is beaming. I feel the beam. Oh, I feel the beam. I feel the beam. I feel the beam. Oh, Do we have any porridge lovers online this morning? Any porridge lovers? And I have the best thing to eat my porridge with today. But I have the best thing to eat my porridge with today. Alright. After three, you reveal what yours is. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Cream Super crackers. Thin. <laughs> Super thin cream crackers. Wow. That's, that's really? what I was going to say. You never ever said that. Both both super thin cream crackers. I only one size cream crackers is. Mm -mm. No. Oh, yes, cream crackers is only one size. Hey, you don't realize that these are uber thin. It doesn't say uber thin, Candy. But well, it's uber thin though. This is not the one from Jamaica. It's the one from Jamaica. This is the one from Jamaica, but this is not how it was in Jamaica. New, improved, way thinner than normal. It looked the same. See, it looked the same. CM cream crackers. Like what we used to eat in Jamaica. Morning, Marlon Pinup. Yes, I am a porridge person. Hallelujah, Marlon. Glory. This morning, I am taking the porridge thing up a notch. I am putting it... I want to... <laughs> I'm putting it on another levels. Yeah? Take it on the level. Up on the level. Parage it gone and make it comfortable. The pandy level. And. We can't really bother you. I don't see we can't bother. My mother tell me when I was looking at wife. So get somebody with sense. I never listen to my mother. What's your favorite porridge, guys? Let me know. What is your favorite porridge? My favorite porridge is Omnicorn. My favorite porridge is banana or plantain porridge. Shana James said, Carmel. Shana James, boring. Just, just boring. So, this, you just, you just <laughs> flat out with the Carmel. So, you not even give a little explanation for the Carmel. Just Carmel, that's it. <laughs> Done. Nobody give me nothing else. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know which porridge I really don't like? I don't like oatmeal. The way that most people make it. She makes oatmeal very nice. I make oatmeal by blending the oatmeal. So we got connectivity issues, guys. Let's hope that it doesn't continue for the day. I'm going to go back to the wife again. Yep, 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 yep. Let's see. Are you guys able to see us or hear us clearly or both? Let us know. Yeah. All right, so let's get this porridge under. It's the same. All right. The tough crackers is bigger. I love banana and cornmeal porridge with, with coconut, coconut milk. milk. They don't that me a tabo, tabo. They not that me a tabo, Marlon. You just a what them? All right, Master Yip. Good morning, prayer kid. Good morning. Master good Yip. morning. We just a what them with the with the with the, with the um, tough crackers and the banana and cornmeal porridge. Yes, me I tell you, but today. 
we are taking it up another notch and today we want to make a very unusual representation i mean no the rasta them about the place i gonna love this highly highly you understand <laughs> so let me show you what we have um see i think we should turn that on and th th that start to bubble bubble it up bubble it up bubble all right let's go let's go so we have pumpkin guys and this is a regular yellow pumpkin that we use to make pumpkin chicken pumpkin soup as a matter of fact you can also substitute this with butternut squash all right which is a little bit sweeter yeah a little bit more um hardy all right so pumpkin we have about maybe one and a half cup of pumpkin we have some sweet corn and this is a sweet corn I, I pulled it from the can because the can one is much softer than the flash frozen one and so we're using the can one today we have some cornmeal over air so and these are gonna be my, the, the 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 base for my pumpkin sweet corn cornmeal porridge yes and then i have a whole bunch of uh, spice and aromatics that i'm gonna be using first and foremost we have vanilla by benjamin's or benjamin which is french for benjamin's mm -hmm. <laughs> we also have some nutmeg yeah we have nutmeg right there not an egg jamaicans call it not an egg some of us at least not all of us because you know some of us not are <laughs> some of us are born like in kingston mm. yeah <laughs> wow. we have some um cinnamon and this is the ceylon cinnamon which is um organic cinnamon which is one of the best ones on the market most nutritious ones and we have some star anise extract here mm. and we also have this spice that i've come to love cardamom and it's middle eastern karen kemp good morning to you cardamom is middle eastern and it has a medicinal flavor but it's really really good when you add it to um stuff like you know porridge and stuff like that all right it can be added to curry as well we're using sugar in the raw but we may not use any sugar at all today we just have it there as you know friend remind of what you can use i also was talking to my wife about using the um, non-dairy creamer as a substitute for say sweet milk condensed milk mm -hmm. um and that was a debatable conversation uh, we also have here some coconut almond milk which is again one of the things that we have grown to to use instead of dairy we use almond milk or coconut milk and that in itself is also a very good flavoring agent not to be left out is dates now these dates are awesome dates is super sweet and it is used as sugar substitute in a lot of um, recipes mm -hmm. and as well it is, is very good for your diet dates are very good for um digestion and and all those things if you have high blood pressure and the sugar from the dates is is um what you call it non glycine <laughs> yes you know it's about the big word mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's super non glycemic ascalavocious yes it's natural sugars natural yes. sugars not artificial sugar not artificial and for my porridge i always like to sprinkle just a tad bit of sea salt in there because it just gives it that nice balanced you know flavor and i feel the balance it just very so, balancing we are about to get to the show on zero the first thing that we're gonna do is to blend up the pumpkin because you want the pumpkin to be smooth and not chunky the only chunky thing in the thing will be the corn, right? right? Okay. So you want us to put the cornmeal in the in in the magic bullet? Uh, no, the cornmeal. The 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 pumpkin. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do it. Bullet? Yeah, you can do it with the thing, you know, with the um the day. Oh. And call it and call it a day. Yes. And just put the milk at the same time. Yes. The coconut milk. Yes. So that's all we're going to do. And as I said, it's experimental. So we're just figuring it out as we go. Yay. yay. So, all right. You, you, um, you control the, the camera. Mm -hmm. And let me see if I can. Your camera has been giving me life since the other day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Clear and crystal. Because it's a crystal Clear camera. Crystal. It's just really camera, camera, 
All right, so you just simply want to take your um, pumpkin and just add it to your Nutribullet or to your blender. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't have to be this way, guys, because you we have a, a hand blender that we could have blended it in the pot. Mm -hmm. So that's another option. But like oh, we're here at this juncture, we will just continue along this pathway. Right, and because we want to do the, the, the date at the same time, it makes sense. Yeah, you want me to go on a date. Guys, if you like what is going on and you want to see the end result, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And we appreciate love we it. We appreciate your thumbs up, sis, when you give us a thumbs up. All right, this is your job to go mix the, the cornmeal. The pot is, the water is boiling in the pot. And we're using one date or two. Mm, one is fine. Sure. One is All right, one. so see the dates here, guys, and you just pretty much want to open. And the dates is, is a fruit from a, a, a palm tree. All right? It's like a coconut tree, but it don't have coconut. It have dates. And I normally squeak, just pull out this little this little chalky, thready type of thing on the inside. It doesn't have to. You don't have to pull it out, but I normally do. All right? And you, you see? It, and I'm telling you guys, this is just pure sugar right here you're having in your hand. You know, source of sugar. As a matter of fact, Middle Eastern um, societies and culture, they they add it. They have it as as snacks. You just pick up a date and eat it. Yeah, that does sound wrong in our context, though. You know, just pick up a date and eat it. You have to get to know the date first. Wow. <laughs> but this is how yeah yeah see, and you just break it up and yeah utilize it i think we could do two but it's super sweet so i'm not gonna allow for my chance you know it's 27 grams of sugar in one date are you serious almost the same amount of sugar in a, a bottle of drinks or something. are you serious let me see what you're doing over there baby before you actually add it here yes so tell me when to come come wow or to forward thank you so we what we have here is a little bit of cinnamon with the same water that we use to boil the pumpkin that way we don't throw away the nutrients that is found in the pumpkin and we just added some water to our cornmeal and we are now adding our cornmeal um finish scrape it out you know that cornmeal is funny if you leave it for a second it will lump up right yes i know so you have to stir this for a little while and it's until it gets to that point and you have to also monitor it because you may need to add a little bit more water which as, is what i'm gonna you depend. notice how me at one good at one i'm yeah. gonna depend on you for any additional liquids so you need to go get the short right one. so now i'm back over here just to show you what's going on on this side of the fence all right so now that i've done that i am just gonna add a cap full of my vanilla add the vanilla now yeah you can. I always put more anyway. i'm using a cap full of the vanilla yeah whatever you do though don't put a lot of liquid i'm not gonna put a lot of liquid madam madam i'm just not the milk. that's what i'm using no, I mean the one that you, you're not gonna use the coconut. No, no, I wasn't. I wasn't. Should I? Should I tell me quickly? Yes, that's tell me okay. She says I must use coconut milk, guys. So I'm gonna put off the the almond milk for a little bit, and I'm gonna grab a can of coconut milk that we are always having our house. So. When I'm gonna put the list of recipe, the, the list of ingredients, I'm gonna put a can of coconut milk. Um, and we're not using the full can, the whole can right now. We're just gonna, you know, wing it a little bit. Uh -huh. All right. So, we're just gonna add this um, coconut milk, maybe um, half a cup. Let me, let me just gauge it. I have to gauge it because need to know how much coconut milk you're adding so that so much half, a can. half a can yeah <laughs> and you just add that to your your nutri bullet and your nutri bullet over here <laughs> a 
and the most important thing is to get the dates um, um, crushed. So that's what we're doing there. And as you can see, the forage is thick. Good morning once again. If you're just joining me, good morning. Good morning. Master Yip says it's blizzard condition in Colorado. Yeah. And we also have someone joining us from Montreal. Good morning to you. To all those folks who are stuck in the snow. We are coming live from Super Soflo. Add this. And now we're just going to pour in. And I love the color, guys. The color, oh, the pumpkin color is just so rich, rich and divine. Oh, so wow. Rich. It's. You're going to burn me up. You're going to me up, my girl. Hurt, Cheese and um, peas. And you see this? I'm mm going -hmm. make it waste. I'm going to throw a little almond milk in this and finish um, oh, sweetening up the pot. The pot is so, it's so pretty. Oh, this is so divine. Feel it to my heart. It looks so divine. Barrington Christian, good morning. Camille Smith, good morning to you from Brooklyn. Brooklyn in the house. Oh, New York in the house. In the house. Montreal is in the house. Who else out there in the house? Tell us no. <laughs> yes. Wow. This color is everything, guys. This yellow, rich yellow color is everything. It looks like cream of pumpkin soup, right? Yeah, but it's porridge. It's porridge. All right. That is awesome. Orlando in the house. Yeah. Colorado in the house. Oh, oh, yeah. Everybody in the house. Oh, Jamaica in, in the, the house. house. Mm -hmm. Georgia in the house. Everybody is in the house. Oh, yeah. I'm going to come out of And now I'm going to add just two pods of cardamom, right? And the cardamom is tricky, guys. You, you want to break it. When you're adding it, you want to break it. And so... At the same time, the seeds are very, very tricky. So I'm, I know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to make a little bouquet garni and add it to, to a little bit of cheese or something I put to the side. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Or better yet, I'll add it and not puncture it. Yes, right? Yes. Because I think it will... That's a piece of date, baby. You don't have to worry oh, about oh, it. Oh, I want oh. to the girl, man. <laughs> she investigate like you think a cockroach. <laughs> no, I know. No. <laughs> I was wondering if it's a cinnamon stick breakup. <laughs> cinnamon stick is in the house. Cardamom in the house. Eh, 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 in the house. I'm loving this pumpkin color in my cornmeal porridge this That's morning. That's because I made, I, made the, I made the suggestion to make the cornmeal. Yes, porridge. he's a creative genius in the house. <laughs> I know you add pumpkin and coconut milk. Good morning. Oh, what a bubble. <laughs> Laura, we're talking about some porridge, cornmeal porridge with um, well, it's, it's, pumpkin. It's pumpkin. Pumpkin, corn. Sweet corn. We don't add the sweet corn yet. No. I'm yeah. greater in the nutmeg now. Nutmeg is in the house. Mm -mm. It's not nutmeg, not egg. It's nutmeg. Nutmeg in the house. Or all spices in the house. Tell me when to stop. So keep them. Yes, Laura. This is some um, porridge, but we're taking it a notch because you know how we do in Yard Belly Kitchen. We don't do things normal. Okay? Okay. So we're putting some pumpkin in our cornmeal porridge with some sweet corn. And it's going to be delicious. It's going to be very mantagamous. Wow. You need more? You need more Not cinnamon? no, maybe when, when I'm sweetening it. Okay, you ready for the for the cinnamon now? You can put a little. It's out actually mm -hmm. sweet already, you know, babes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you try it. Stop. Oh, we mean stop. This is an intense um cinnamon. It's cinnamon. Yeah, the cinnamon is strong. 
I like flavors, guys. How, how are you with when it comes to flavors? I like flavors in my thing. Now I'm adding some flavors pure in. star anise this extra. This one you cannot. Hello, get a spoon. You can't wing that. I can wing it. I can wing it. It's very strong. It's strong and nice. Oh, that's a lot. It's too much. That's too much. Yes. Let me pour back some. She's always conservative and scared. She's so scared. Look at that. Look at that. Watch her. Watch her. Watch her. She's yeah, so watch scared. It. See, it even changed it. the color of the thing immediately. Oh, it please. It's smell nice. And guys, if you have not used the um, star anise extract, I promise you guys, it's worth it. McCormick sells a good brand. Mm. It's well so very anise. <laughs> <laughs> all right so you know you have to allow the cornmeal to do its thing you can't pressure the next time we too use much. two be two beets two, two beets, beets. Two dates in that next porridge meadow is gonna be beet cornmeal yeah with what what base cornmeal you you add the salt you add the salt You should. What are you? You should some put. You should hold on. Allspice, the one you put in the cake. Oh, she said you should put some allspice, the one you put in cake. Which one is that? No, no, allspice. I guess the powdered allspice. That mixed spice. I'm putting a little bit of um. A little bit of the salt sea salt and just stirring that in no barrington we're not gonna blend the corn and then, we're gonna we, we, you could blend the corn but we're not for this purpose we want that we want the corn because it makes it a little bit more rustic so we're not gonna blend the corn today but you could Barrington is saying which part you're gonna do next. Beautiful color, right? Master you. Alright, so for the next porridge, we don't know yet because we have to wait on inspiration. <laughs> we work by inspiration. Inspiration. <laughs> that's what matters. Inspiration of the porridge. Too. Please pardon my singing. I know I'm great. I just, you know, just. So, guys, I was looking yesterday at um, a passage, right? And I wanted to share that passage with you right quick. It, it's from the book of Second Corinthians. Now, I know there may not be, there may be folks that are on here that are not Christian. That's fine. That's okay. You know, uh, word of God. Laura says her favorite porridge is bulga, and I'm I'm gonna try the bulga porridge one of these days. Uh, I'm, I used to get it when I was a child, mm -hmm. and so I'm gonna try it one of these days. But I was looking in the Bible, and um, it talks about in Second Corinthians one verse three and four. It talks about, um, you know, it says it's like it says praise to God our Father, who comforts us in our time of tribulation. And he does that so that we can turn around and become a comfort to somebody else who is going through a rough time. And it's funny. It's so funny to me because sometimes we go through experiences and we say to ourselves, boy, you know, why am I going through this? And, and we question God. We say, why? Why God? And sometimes, you know, no, no trial and no tribulation is easy. No adversity is easy. But what God does is he uses is the adversities and the situation um you, you know lara he uses the adversities and the situations that we go through as a a, a a a learning experience for us so that when somebody else that we know going through that situation or similar situation we can conf we can understand and we can uh as it were empathize with them and sometimes we need to realize that no man is an island. Have you ever been going through a really serious time? And if it's somebody never turn up with a word or, or with a little comfort or somebody never turn up with a hug. Sometimes all you need is a hug. Or a 
or sometimes you just need to hear that somebody has been through and the same thing and it worked out for and them. And it worked out for them. You know, sometimes sometimes we 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 have been culturing in recent times to hide our problems and hide our adversities and, and Instagram and Facebook and social media is um is um uh Barrington I'm in I'm in Miami I'm in Miami Barrington thank you thank you so much yes uh we connection bad everywhere <laughs> you know but um you know we have been cultured to, to be silent and to hide our problems and to to show the world like we're always okay that's not true humanity humanity is not sunshine all day and peaches and cream and ice cream every day sometimes it's downpour it's storms sometimes it's a little tin mackerel pan little white rice and, and dumpling and butter sometimes it's a rough situation but when we through resilience and through god's blessing overcome we should use that opportunity to inspire somebody else who have just been where we were and human beings nowadays have become so cruel and so hurtful and so you know uh, 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 you know we we have, we have become really real doing this the devil is using us against each other we have become as it were our own worst enemy and it's important for us to remember this that we can be better we can do better we can pick up the slack and we can run with each other and we can help and support one another because for instance if i if i was homeless and i spent years being homeless and finally god through his providence find a way to give a house give me a house and give me a car or something and i find my self empathizing out there to those persons who may be homeless and i'm driving past them there is there must be a point in my mind where i said boy you know what thank god that you carry me through but now i can look at that person who's homeless and don't judge them wrongly because sometimes you see a beggar up on the street i would judge them who say oh he's a crackhead i would judge them i would say oh i'm a cruff you know jamaicans have this terminology cruff um it means worthless but because we have been through similar situation and we know that we were not um, worthless when we were homeless or because we've been through the situation where we were broke and we know we weren't homeless we weren't uh, 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 um, worthless or we weren't on crack or drugs when we were broke and when we got put out of our house and when we lost our job we can empathize with somebody else and it's so important it's so important you know that we seek god in the middle of our trials but also that we talk about it not i mean you're not, you're not going to broadcast your situation you're not going to go say boy me homeless boy may that hurt me no, that's not the point but the point is that you 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 don't shy away from letting the folks know that yes i've been through a tough time i've been through a rough time i've been through the hills and the valleys but god so God says his Holy Spirit comforts us so that we can turn around and be a comfort to somebody else. Many times we are here doing our breakfast live and guys, you may not know that it's the, it's the one meal for the day. Not out of necessity, but it's just out of the fact that we know what it is to not have a lot. So we don't waste what we have. And when we see people being frivolous and wasting money and doing all these things, it, it sometimes hurts our heart because we know what it is to not have enough to have a child who you have to pass the, 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 the fast food place, not just because it's not good for him, but because your pocket now will stretch that far, you know. And yet we have seen where God has done what he has done and brought us through the tough times. And we still have a whole heap of tough times to go. We are never ever thinking that we reach. No, Lord. We, 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 we're not even close to reaching him, babes. We need to pass maybe about three, four more, four, maybe three or four more milestones to reach, to even close to reach. Laura Henry, God is so good. You know, I remember when we when you asked a prayer for your husband and we prayed and we prayed earnestly believing that he can come through. 
that he can, you know, pass through the storm. And now he's home and we thank God for him and we pray that God would continue to sustain him and all the things that are necessary for his survival and for his recuperation will fall into place. Because we know God is able. Amen. We know God is able. Roy Ball, good morning to you, sir. God bless you, Claudette Bailey. Good morning to you. And we thank you once again for joining us. All right, where we're reaching now, we're going to put in the sweet corn into the porridge. Into the porridge. Because, and as I said, you can blend your sweet corn if you so choose. But in this, for this um, exercise, we're not blending the sweet corn. We like the texture. We like the texture of the sweet corn. Yep, so we're going to just deal with it this way. And it looks really, really nice. Really, really nice right now. Yeah. See there? It looking good. Yes, it's looking super deep. And guys, you would not believe the amount of adversities that we are trying to overcome even while I'm speaking to you. My, my camera screen just went blank. And so it's just the grace of God while we're carrying on. <laughs> the camera screen just go blank. Really? Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, camera screen. Yes. On. You know. Wow. All right. Come, babe. So let's let's put in the the thing now. Use this. Yes. 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 All right. So we're gonna pour this in the pot. See it there. See it there. Watch. Look on that. Nice. Everybody. And as I said, if you wanted to to um, blend your sweet corn, you could have done that. That's all up to you. Fold in the sweet corn. And the pumpkin made the porridge look like a curry porridge. <laughs> May I tell you. And it's so good. It tastes so nice. You know, and you want to adjust the flavors now, baby. You want to adjust mm -hmm. the flavors now. So you might have to add some sugar. And some okay. other little nicks, nicks, snacks. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of some farmer milk. Maybe. You want to add some more of the coconut? Uh, you want me to blend this with, with one more of the, the dates? Mm -hmm. No? Which one of the milk you want to add? The, this almond milk here? Use the vanilla add, thing. Add so we're gonna use it up. Okay. It's, we're not coffee users right there. So. so we're gonna add, here you go. We're gonna add some. Um, our coffee creamer mm -hmm. and as i said this is gonna be our milk substitute because the coffee creamer does um it is super sweet all right so we're not gonna use the condensed milk um you know instead we're gonna use the coffee cream and then um you're gonna taste it for for um flavor and then here you go Porridge ever burning? Trust me, it's still burn. <laughs> Make sure it's cool. Oh, the plate for much, the bowl, your um, sister's make broke it. Thank God, thank God. I don't mind that broke it. It's good. You know? I don't mind that broke it because I broke it with fish. <laughs> wow. Alright, so guys. Oh, we still have the stuff right here. Add a little bit more of, of the the spices. Add a cup full of vanilla. Risa Gold, good morning to you from Northwest Florida. Good morning, Kay Bailey from Antigua. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Kay Bailey, why every track yes 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 um put it back. Put it back, back. Kay Bailey. <laughs> Take back your talk. Don't take back your talk around here, okay, Bailey. Put it back. <laughs> All right. Oh so God. a little bit of um nutmeg. Mm -hmm. Bam. What else? Do you know where the where the other um a little bit more the other synonym of this is other of what the other um we call it cream crackers in the cupboard oh okay mm-hmm synonym and so we're gonna need a little bit of sugar all right so 
and the seasoning part of it is up to you guys. Seasoning? Flavor, what do you call it? Flavoring. <laughs> you just put two spatula full of sugar. Spatula? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Then you just do so and mix it you around. It <laughs> you take it and do so. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Look at the color, man. And a tad bit more of the salt. And our porridge is pretty much done. Our porridge is complete. Yes, believers. Um, Margaret Davis. Good morning, Margaret. Good morning from Pennsylvania. <laughs> K. Bailey. Just say you spell Antigua wrong. If I you live in Antigua, I spell it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Where you expect poor me to do? <laughs> On Yardy Belly TV, we spell things wrong here. Don't you don't need to retract it. Just correct it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, this is something that I normally do, but my wife it doesn't normally agree. And for instance, when we have when we have um, like oils, we take oils as a um, health dietary supplement, and this is our flaxseed oil, right? Very, very, very good in um, omega three and other um, nutrients like that. Good for um, blood pressure support and all these things. And we're just gonna add some to it now flaxseed oil does not carry any flavor no flavor at all so it doesn't change the flavor notes of the porridge but so it, it does add so it's it's yes it does the same thing and even better than um fish oil than fish oil yeah okay. and so i normally add my little oils to the porridge at that at this time And I think it's sharing time, you know, because me, my belly has a shear. Sharing time, cooking over now with sharing time. Hey! We the eat a porridge, the eat a hey. porridge, mm, porridge now. Oui. Make we put the porridge on the plate. Hey! Make we eat and sing, dance and eat the thing, because it's, it's done. Boy! Hallelujah! I was in here for two weeks. I stayed in English. Oh, but I love your country. I want to go to Antigua. Yeah, we need to go Antigua. Trust I me. I want to go to Antigua. Barrington say he's been in Antigua. Barrington, I hope you enjoy yourself. Be like the traveling. <laughs> the traveling is very, very troublesome. Enjoy your thing. You want to put one in this? Hmm? I was just going to present one. But if you want, you could put the two of them. I'm wondering. Okay. All right. right. Where's the soup? The, the parish take a wrapper. Mm -hmm. All right, All guys. This. Moment of truth. All right. Now I'll come back over here with my with my um, camera, and please, guys, and just bear with us. Yeah. Over here is the back with the camera. Yeah. We'll come a little closer. My it? foot is in it. <laughs> uh, yes, bring the pot. Where it's supposed to go. Hallelujah. I'm scared to do it. You want me yes, to do it? Yes. All right, I come in. I come in. You don't need more milk. It's too thick for your liking. No, but you know, say, I'm going to be like that because uh, you will make it. So when you're having a porridge, you can adjust well, as you. Let me tell you what we can do. Just add a little bit more coconut milk. Yay! That's fine. He's adding some coconut milk. Because the porridge is a bit thick. So she likes her porridge thick, guys. Yeah, that's but just... that's a little bit thicker than I would normally want it. Alright, let me take this cardamom seed out. Pass a spoon, pass a spoon for me very quick. That's any oh you bite this cardamom seed, that's it. Woe be unto you. <laughs> 
you love jamaica to k right yeah jamaica is the bomb but one of my dreams is to actually go to every single caribbean island people say if you've been to one you've been to all but i really don't care and i really don't think that's it's the not case. true it can't be it can't be because i've been to barbados and it's a different yeah. vibe totally it must be a different culture different you know feel from the people different everything so i want to go to all the caribbean islands and as you can see i'm ladling my porridge i'm trying not to make too much of a, a, a spill What you gonna top your porridge with? I'm not topping my porridge with nothing. I'm gonna break my crackers up in my porridge. <laughs> wow. What can go on top of it? Coconut, what about some co coconut? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Of. And some almond could go up on it too. We don't have any. Oh, of yeah, course, we have um. I want to go earlier, man. I forgot. I forgot. That. I forgot. That. I forgot too. So what, well, Auntie? Your phone not giving audio? Oh. <laughs> That's what you're gonna do. All right. Any moment. Oh, you can do the thing that they do on the TV. With this. And then dust all make it into. With this or yeah. what? What you want? You yeah. want? So you but these? Oh, this are gonna the go design. on it. But how will it go on it? I don't care about that. Is this worth? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm gonna put the arm on the outside. That's not almond. No, the, the coconut. And guys, you have to have little coconut in your in your house. May I tell you that? It look good though. Yeah, Shana said the colour looks so yeah, the colour is like so much richer than normal. Um, Shana, may I promise you, Shana, you squash or the Jamaican pumpkin and make your look a porridge. So like Shana, as of now when they ask when it, what's your favorite porridge, you're gonna say? <laughs> what are you gonna say? <laughs> pumpkin sweet, sweet corn. corn cornmeal pie <laughs> why you have to mess up the place my girl mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You make all the color cover up in here what me I do mm -hmm. oats <laughs> <laughs> hey Bailey oats is your favorite nah I'm not really a huge oats fan at all and she makes an awesome oats porridge though. I only like oats when I blend it out before I cook it so it's smooth and not lumpy. All this. I can't stand lumpy porridge. Babe, you're gonna mess it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, let me try the thing for make the thing look gourmet. Sure. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing it too hard. I think they use a thicker thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, we're trying to make that design thing that they do. But <laughs> I think they... Them, them use a, 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 a whip, whipped cream, them use. You love... <laughs> that you love about the oats? The lump them? <laughs> <laughs> the lumpy lumpy. <laughs> wow, guys, look at this. How this look guys? Mm -hmm. How this look? I do so hope that you enjoy this presentation this morning. Yeah? And remember guys, Tony Hannah makes fashion. Yeah? If you like, share, subscribe, yeah, comment everything to our YouTube channel. We have some really, really nice stuff that we're planning to come up with next. And we do hope that you will just continue to support us. Financially, we are struggling a little bit because we need new equipment. As you can see, our equipment is malfunctioning all the time. But God is good and eventually we will get to the place where we can, you know, do what we need to do and make it work out. All right? You're not taking your Instagram? But you need this. Mm-hmm. But guys, remember to just continue to log on, continue to stick and stay, continue to, uh, you know, work with us. And, uh, and I do hope that we have inspired you to get creative and Tony Hannah make fashion. And remember, what we always say, live and laugh. Cook and eat. Cook and eat. And That's Tony our Han 
our pumpkin sweet corn cornmeal porridge cornmeal porridge yummy delicious yeah 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 well, he's going to barbados in may yes yes i was in barbados enough enough years ago barbados is always nice make sure so you try the the uh mobby your master yip try the mobby hallelujah yeah man i saw this porridge tastes good porridge look good porridge look nice Mm-hmm. See, we can turn this camera around. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, guys, to shop Yardy Lifestyle Apparel. We have here one of our designs, the Jamaica Jamrock, Jamrock, Jamaica, Jam Down Jamaica Jamrock T-shirt. Yeah, you just click the shop now page and you can purchase something like this. And we have it in t shirts, we have it in razorback, um, what do you call it? Racer, racerback tank tops. We have it in all the different vibes. And then the wife have on this one that says Tonya and make fashion. Yeah, so if you click the shop now button, it you will find that on the shop now button. And you can choose your colors. On the back of it, it says Yadi Lifestyle yeah see that looks real nice real nice yeah man yeah man yeah man so keep on supporting we appreciate the love and we appreciate the support yeah and as soon as we continue doing what we're doing and we got bus way and we get to that point where we can set up the thing we're gonna set up the thing that's how people can come in come eat breakfast with me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's how the thing said all right so remember guys stick and stay <coughs> sorry i'm so sorry. yeah stick and stay and enjoy the program and the rest of your day we are going to be signing out and until next time and guys you want to make sure to turn on your notification because guess what sometimes we just get crazy and decide to go live like um we did go live last earlier. night yesterday night evening before. Oh, no, yeah. yesterday we do with, oh, with the, with the at greens. Lunch time. Yeah. Yeah. With the mixed greens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So remember to just keep it locked and keep looking out for what we have in store. And until next time. Peace and love. Live and